Hi there, welcome to The Beaten Trail, and in this episode we are going to continue our series from earlier in 2022 for Hatfield McCoy, and this is Wilmore Dam. So first off, I wanted to thank Shane and Frank, Gary and Miguel, everybody who was able to provide footage for this trip. We did have some adverse weather, and so we had some electronics working and some just covered in water. Not very palatable to look at driving through rain. The Wilmore Dam does take a bit of road riding to get to. Now I'm sure some of the locals have some outlaws that they will take to get there, but that's not what this video is about. This is just our experience taking a ride out on the road and getting up to Wilmore Dam and the usual photography and hijinks that go on when you get to a landmark like that in Hatfield and McCoy. We had a great time. It was easily a good couple hours of the day. Please use a local tour if you want to get an estimate on how long. So we're on our way to Wilmore Dam and we are waiting for construction. Um, a one lane bridge. Still got plenty of fuel. And uh, I guess we're getting ready to go. Someone just flagged us down. So that's it. That's all that's exciting. Not much. We had a multi-day trip down in Hatfield and McCoy, staying in Williamson, West Virginia, and in Belfry, Kentucky. Now, you always should be prepared in the snap of a finger, you can easily have a change of weather. And usually that can be a rainstorm, you can have some snow showers, it depends on the time of the year. We were here in the end of March and the beginning of April. Cold showers are nothing to enjoy while you're riding. Whether you have a windshield or not, typically this time of year, it's going to be cold. And like that, the weather can change back and you're back to normal weather. And we are taking a break for fuel and we're going to continue our way onto the dam. The group here is uh, pretty much ready to... Uh, ready to roll but we're just checking on a map and uh, everybody is uh, had some food we just had some snacks and uh, I'm all good my electronics are working everything it's a cable mess in here I have to really go through everybody seem like they're ready we're ready ready we're all ready we got one guy in uh, the dollar store yet all right copy that Frank was out in the elements and he was well dressed, uh, but he took the brunt of any of the cold and the wind. We appreciate him getting his helmet cam going and some point of view riding. And it's always good to get a, a view out on the road. With a large group, we did have a couple times where we had to pull over just to make sure we weren't blocking traffic. Unfortunately, on some winding roads, you don't have too many times to do this. I do want to say though that we did go through a lot of the areas that were devastated by the floods uh, down in West Virginia, so our hearts go out to them. There was just a lot of damage and construction going on.
course, everybody wanted to have their picture taken and video and just go ahead and have a video memory in this location. And everybody had a great time. Got their feet wet, got to go through some water, and parked for a photo. do get down to Hatfield and McCoy, there are dozens and dozens of attractions and sights to see, but Wilmore Dam is up there, and we'd recommend that you make the effort to go there, but it is a bit of a drive, and you should dedicate the better part of a day unless you want to really do some high-speed riding, and again, most of that is going to be on the road, so your mileage may vary, literally. And on the way back, just as on the way up to the dam, there's plenty of fuel stations to stop by and top off. Now, you can also stop at the convenience stores and help the local businesses, and it doesn't matter whether you stop and get a slice of pizza, or some bottled water, or just some M&Ms. Unfortunately, we didn't see any KFCs on the way up there. We had to wait until we got back to Williamson, West Virginia for that. Some of us did carry extra fuel, and I know that's always a controversial discussion about having a can of fuel on your ride, either in the front or the rear, in case of a fire hazard, a crash, or a flip over. Unless you're going to be doing some extreme rock climbing, the risk is minimal, but you can make that choice yourself. We utilize Rotopax units, and for extended trips, it's always good to have one or two people that may have extra fuel. As long as you do it safely, you should not have any issues. So the trip back was nice, a nice sunsetting view, and other than a little bit of sun glare, it was enjoyable. We did have one vehicle who uh, did have some fuel issues, and had to be towed back part of the way. Shane took care of that. We just had to slow our pace down a little bit and be safe on the road. So if you are going to Hatfield McCoy, or it's not your first time, you know that there's plenty of locations and sites to see. And there's also plenty of YouTube channels and individuals who offer local tours. So please look them up. We'll put a couple links up. We 
hope that you like this video and will continue to make more. We thank you and we hope to see you out there on the trail. Please check out our new sponsor is Evolution Power Sports in Reading, Pennsylvania. They are your one-stop shop for off-road and on-road pre-owned vehicles, motorcycles, ATVs, and more, and for parts. Let them know that the Beaten Trail sent you. Be sure to check out Beaten Trail merchandise online with a click of the button.